G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Bomber Crew with Mags and welcome back to Algeria. Now, I have actually done a couple more missions since the last video that I put up. Most of them have been uh, repeats of missions that we've already done, trying to earn a little bit in the way of credits. However, we've got another crack at the ace. Coastal Patrol mission, enemy ace in mission area. So we're going to try and take him down. Now, I have made a couple of modifications to the bomber with the money that we have earned in the last two missions as well. Mainly getting Mark II 30 cows into a few more spots on the aircraft and also upgrading the armor of the crew so hopefully they stay alive. Now, I really want to get this ace down because that's 3,000 credits plus the, med uh, the credits for mission completion, which should be enough to start bolting 50 cows onto this thing before we go and do the main objective mission. So, let's do this. Now you'll notice that I have made a couple of appearance changes to our B-17 as well for this flyout. We have also gone through a name change. While Flak Magnet was most certainly appropriate, it just wasn't cutting for me anymore. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the F-Bomb. I actually think it kind of looks pretty good. Anyways, come on up off the ground, thank you very much. Oh, shit. Select the pilot, raise gear, and we have navigational point one up. Now, the coastal patrol mission, we have actually done this one before. We're basically going to have to recon a couple of ships. I'm going to take a shot at trying to destroy them while we're reconning them as well. We're getting reports of enemy ace. Yep, the ace is up and about. That is the primary thing we're after. We have to complete the mission objective. But the primary goal is to shoot down the bloody ace. I'm hoping I have enough guns this time to actually be able to do that. Right, new heading is up. Just watching the radar on the bottom right hand corner at the moment, waiting for aircraft to show up. They should be popping in soon. Those are enemy ships, get recon photos. Okay, so we hit the objective area before we hit enemy aircraft. That's fair, let's open the doors, and bombs one is selected, and... Take the photo and release. And that looked like we sunk one. So we get the points for the recon photograph and the points for sinking at the same time. Right. Now we can begin to turn back. Photo and release. That's two for two. Next bomb selected. Head through for a little bit and we'll begin to turn back. This one should actually be fairly easy. Much larger target, much easier to hit. I just don't know if I can destroy it with one bout of bombs or if I'm going to need both. Photo and release. And that's enough to sink it. Doors closed. And now we're going to clear the area of enemies. So, there they are. Three biplanes. And here comes the ace. Where are you? There you are. Alright, focus. Focus, 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 give him shit. Uh, guys, you're focusing on the wrong side. Yeah, that one. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to get that way. Custom nav point over here. 
and that should give us enough gun time on the pace now. Fuck. Um, 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 um. Turn up. Turn up. Get back there and fix the hydraulics, please. While the hydraulics are down, none of the major gun turrets are actually functioning. And we're fighting the ace. Uh, clearly I haven't upgraded the electronics or the hydraulics yet at this point in time either. Um, right. Get some wells on the table, bake and take the guns. I don't need the radio at this point. There we go. Turn them back to the turret, please. And get rid of that little shit underneath us. Uh, thumbs down. And Turner's taking the hit, so I need to get Turner out of that turret. Uh, yeah, Chavez, you do the repair. Rolls onto the gun, Forrest are back on. So Turner's shooting for the moment. Normal waypoint now. Frederick stands on quarter. Still got one minute left on the gun. Right, Chavez, fix done. Get him back in his feet. So we need that belly gun, uh, belly gun work. And I've only got one med kit in this now, so with two down, uh, Chavez, get back in the turret, please, and kill that bastard. I've just lost one of my gunners and my engineer at this point, and the ace is finally gone. Mungrel. You I should put that second first aid in here again. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it either. I don't have anybody that has the ability to stabilize these two. Um, yeah, I, I can heal without med kits. Carol's trained well enough as a medical trainer that she can fix them up without the bed, but I, I can't stabilize him. And there's no way not I'm going to land in 56 seconds, so they're done. But still. Turner's gonna hurt. Turner was a really good engineer. But um, trading even a level 7 gunner, it doesn't take too long to get one of those up. Um, a level 7 gunner for an ace is a trade that is probably worth it. Wells is dead. And Turner will be in just a moment. And there's the runway. A little bit faster getting back, we might have been able to touch down before the death, in which case we would have saved turn up, but that's... Yeah, it's not going to happen. we will got to line up on the runway first. And... boom. Actually kind of amusing that there's a giant F for respects above him at the moment. <laughs> Well, there we have it. First two deaths of my Bomber Crew campaign. I haven't lost anyone, and holy shit, look at the belly. That's what caused that. I wasn't fast enough getting somebody else back in that ball turret. I shouldn't have bothered fixing up the, um, 
the original ball, to, uh, ball gunner. I should have just stuck another person in there so they could get rid of that bloody... Uh, get rid of the Dornier that was below us so it didn't chew the bottom out of the aircraft and then fixed uh, the gunner and got him over the table and everything probably would have been okay there but that was just a moment of mismanagement on my behalf still mission complete Alright, mission results. Coastal Patrol, 1,200 credits, 150 XP, and the Ace is defeated, so we get the 3,000 credit bonus. The F-Bomb has made it back, return to base 800, and no slow time bonus of 80, with 10 and 100 on research. Armstrong returns, Turner is dead, Carol returns, Baker returns, Chavez returns, Dunn returns, Wells is dead, Foster and Howard make it home, and we have a couple of new skills. Uh, radio for Recon, ready for upcoming hazards, will be revealed in the Navigator's Map. That's actually a really useful ability. And new unlocks absolutely don't matter. We're not going to have enough money for the latest stuff anyway. Not yet, at least. New recruits. Yes, we need some more meat for the meat grinder. So first things first, let's look at our options. Zero armor, 100% speed, 0% on thermal, actually 0% on everything, or 0 on everything across the board. M. Sanders, 110% speed, that's good. That's automatically a 10% speed boost above normal. You come with 3 armor and 3 seconds of oxygen. Now, I reckon Sanders, congratulations, you are my new engineer. Lewis Jordan... 6 thermal, 2 armor, 12 survival, 3 armor, and that's it, 2 armor, 2 thermal, and that's it. Old Jordan, congratulations, you will be my new gunner. There we go. Two crew replacements. Now, we better get their gear sorted out. Okay, so Sanders, um, what do we want to deck you out in? Actually, presets. Basic engineer set is nothing like what I actually want. It's only got plus five armor on it. I want a little bit of survivability at least for the moment. Um, basic black. Headgear, service cap is 10%. Blue Beret will give me 20%, but it's 500 credits. So let's just... Yeah, Wait, let's just stick with the standard service cap. It's only 50 and we get 10% speed out of it. That's 121. Now... A small O2 bottle, we already have four of those in stock, so that'll do. Um, medium flak vest, it's probably a touch much. Then again, light flak vest, we get 10 armor and we lose 7% speed. Medium gets us 20 and we lose 15. That'll still leave us at 100% overall, with 21 armor. do is we pick up fingerless woolen gloves for 100 that gets us back to 100 percent 110 and then that'll get us to 137 percent with 21 percent armor and 15 seconds worth of oxygen all right mr jordan basic armored set you're a gunner you don't need to move much i just want you to stand there and shoot things so that's it for the moment. You're nice and easy. There we go. Our crew as it currently stands with two fresh recruits in. Now we have 4,230 credits to spend on the F-bomb and there's no question where this is going. 250 cows in the rear. 
250 cals in the ball turret. Gives me 1,030. Let's equipment. Mid rear, that is on one slot for fire, so we'll do mid front. We'll do mid front. Install for 1,000 and set for medical. Now we have two med packs on board. And that leaves us with 30 credits, so there is really not much more we can actually do at this point. So at this point, we're going to actually bring this video to a close. Yeah, there's nothing else there I really want to change. So anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. I will have another Bomber Crew mission up on the channel very soon. Honestly, with access to 50 cows now, I'm probably going to go for the mission or campaign objective as the next target. Or maybe I'll fly a couple more and add these first. 2,000 a piece and we can put 50 cal on each of the nose, each side of the nose for the bombardier to actually use. Hmm. Maybe I'll fly a couple more normal missions just to earn a little bit of money to get some nose guns as well. But regardless, the next one that you see will probably be the main campaign mission to progress into stage two. So until then, remember to click that like button, share and subscribe if you would like to see more. And as always, take care.